Hey guys, welcome back. Got some big news today. I made some huge changes to my 300 gallon tank, something I've been waiting very, very long time to do. It's been at least um, four days. It's been at least four days. And uh, I just got this stuff today. I'm super excited. I just installed it. What is it? Let's have a look. Let's get into uh, what I'm making this video all about. That is lighting upgrade on my 300 gallon cichlid tank. So uh, I've been playing around with lighting on this tank for probably better part of a year, maybe even a year and a half now. And uh, finally have settled on what to me is my dream lighting. Now, what is it that is so dreamy about this lighting? Well, I have been trying to find a light that um, gives me this shimmer effect as you see. Now, of course, the shimmer is actually caused by the surface tension uh, on the surface of the water caused by, in my case, the wave maker. So um, you can get shimmer from a lot of different type of lights. However, the lighting that I'm going to show you guys that I'm now using on this tank will certainly give you the most shimmer out of any lights. Now. That being said, I didn't want to break the bank like I did on my saltwater tank. The saltwater tank, I am running three Kessel A360X lights. And, uh, you know, I have about probably $1,600, $1,700 worth of lighting on that tank with between three lights and the controller for it. I love the look and shimmer of those lights, and that's what I was going for for this tank. However, I am absolutely not going to pay that kind of money for lighting on a cichlid tank because it's not necessary, it's not needed. So what did I do? I ended up uh, putting on, maybe some of you have seen uh, some of my posts in the past few weeks, I ended up putting a 20 watt, um, 6500K uh, LED floodlight on this tank. There was three of them. They were small. I wasn't crazy about them. Uh, I told you guys I wasn't crazy about them. They just weren't bright enough for me. And the uh, color is along the spectrum of the natural sun, uh, which some prefer, but I do like this uh, whitish, bluish light that you see here in the video. Very crisp, white, bluish color. Really nice in my opinion. Really brings out the uh, metallic colors, especially the blues and uh, pretty much all the colors for that matter. So uh, what did I do? I searched around Amazon, eBay. I was looking at all different uh, types and styles of the floodlights. I ended up going with a 30 watt uh, floodlight and there are three of them on this tank, of course. Um, it's a six foot long tank, three feet front to back. The 30 watt, in my opinion, is absolutely perfect as far as lighting goes. Um, I was considering going with a 50 watt. I think that would have been overkill and would have just probably caused uh, more allergy and uh, headache than anything else really. So we ended up settling on this uh, 50 watt, or I'm sorry, I ended up settling on this 30 watt and I am more than happy that I did. So that being said, let's take a quick look at the uh, lights themselves i may switch back and forth uh, i took some earlier video today however the glare in this room from the sun there's so many windows the glare was so bad that i'm now making another video in the evening so there is less glare to deal with so let's check out those lights up top all right guys so here we are on top of the tank please excuse these uh green lights over here these are my um you know whatever you want to call those lights. They make the room look cool. Anyways, so you'll notice a couple things here. Here are the actual lights themselves. Um, they're much larger than the 20 watts were, but um, that's okay. They're still, uh, they still fit perfectly here. Um, they do have the heat sink. Um, they do get warm. I wouldn't say hot. These guys have been on for about an hour or so, and they're pretty, Pretty warm, but not hot. Um, not something I would be concerned about yet, at least. 
Um, you'll notice some changes that I did make with these lights um, compared to what it used to look like. I ended up taking the glass tops completely off because on my 210 gallon saltwater tank with the Kessel lights, it makes a huge difference whether you have the glass top on or off. So for a couple of reasons, number one, they have the uh, right here, you'll see that I, I have just the front, the small front piece on and uh, on each section. And the only reason I have these front pieces on is because these guys are real pain in the ass and they splash all over the place, especially when they're eating. So what I found was keeping, you know, I just removed the large section of glass and the black plastic um, that, uh, you know, hinges basically. I removed that so I have a much clearer beam and um, I'm able to just throw the food right in. I don't have to worry about moving the tops around, but the great thing is these little sections here that you see, they actually stop all the splashing from these guys. So it's a win-win for me. Um, I really don't care about not having tops on. It doesn't matter to me. I've run no tops. I've run tops. It, it's all the same thing. I don't worry about evaporation at all um, because I have a constant drip system on this tank. So it's, you know, it's fine. Um, as far as fish jumping out, I just, you know, this canopy that I made is pretty much, except for the back, of course, is, is pretty much enclosed. Um, so that's where we're at. But anyways, um, just wanted to show you guys, you know, what it looks like from the top. All right, as you can see, the nice side shot that everyone loves. Everyone loves to take side shots of their tanks for whatever reason. I'm also guilty of it. So um, the shimmer is uh, really, really nice. I absolutely love it. I love the shimmer on these lights. Uh, again, these lights, uh, you know, they're very inexpensive for what they are. Uh, these were 50 bucks a piece, so uh, between all three lights, I have uh, roughly $150 uh, plus tax, shipping, handling, of course. So, um, so far, so good. They run very warm. They do not run hot. They've been on for about three hours now. So uh, I will continue to monitor that. But um, so far, they're, uh, they run relatively cool. And I'm really, really happy with the lighting. I'm going to be ordering a handful more of these lights. Uh, just finishing up um, renovations in the basement doing the uh, fish room down there. So these lights will actually go on the majority of the tanks down there. Uh, a handful of the tanks actually already have them on it, but I'm actually working on a 120 gallon show tank right now. Um, just finishing up the 3D background and all the rocks and basically it's look, gonna look like this tank, just a smaller version of this tank basically. And uh, I'm really excited about it. Really excited to show you guys. It's going to be something that's really, really awesome. So really looking forward to that. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the new lighting here on my tank. I encourage you guys, if you are in the market for looking or looking at uh, new lighting, I would highly recommend these LED floodlights. They are, you know, relatively cheap and... Um, the uh, the shimmer and the clarity is unmatched from any other lights that I have tried. Um, so highly recommend them, guys. Um, the thing I really like about these lights too is, uh, like I've said before, it gives it a real high definition look to the tank, to the fish. The colors really pop. Um, it's really a really great light. So, anyways, hope all you guys are well and uh, enjoying this uh, video here. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon. I will see you on the next one.